episode of RC Garage Tour with Crazy for KVs. We're going to be talking about my Element Gatekeeper. I bought this Gatekeeper as a kit, built it up, uh, put pretty budget electronics in it, and it is pretty low on this list, but for a long time this was kind of my go-to, hence why it's dirty, beat up. Um, I don't really clean my trucks to the point of them looking pretty on the shelf. I'm just gonna take them back out and get them dirty again. So let's walk through it. It's sitting on 2.2 inch Traxxas. Those are plastic bead locks. This is a mostly stock truck as far as axles and drivetrain go, but there's a few things that have been added here or there just to make it a little more fun, a little more mine, nothing crazy. Um, this is another truck that um, I love to give to people because it performs really well. It's got pretty good approach angles, really good departure angle. You don't have to worry about fenders getting hung up. It's got big, those are 4.75 by 2.2 RC four wheel drive mud slingers. And they do great on dirt. They do great on rocks, pretty much everything. This is a mostly stock truck as far as axles and drivetrain go, but there's a few things that have been added here or there just to make it a little more fun, a little more mine, nothing crazy. Um, this is another truck that um, I love to give to people because it performs really well. It's got pretty good approach angles, really good departure angle. You don't have to worry about fenders getting hung up. It's got big, those are 4.75 by 2.2 RC four wheel drive mud slingers. And they do great on dirt, they do great on rocks, pretty much everything. I did add some aluminum body panels to this. Uh, got them off of a guy on eBay. Unfortunately, I do not remember where I got them. They were 40 or 50 bucks for the full set, which I thought was a fair price. Not great, not too terrible. Let's take a look under the hood. So as I was saying, not clean, not pretty. This does have a MyTrick RC light kit. It's got rock lights on all four corners, some a light bar in the front and a couple of tail lights in the rear. First light kit I ever installed. Don't use it very often. It's okay. It's uh, not something I put on very many of my cars unless I'm really going for kind of a more scale look or just trying to make it a little more fun. A lot of the RC events do have a night crawl. So it's nice to have a couple different options that you can take out. This is rocking a OG Hobby Wing Fusion. That's an 1800 KV. I got a metal spur on this, uh, Eco Power 120T. That's a roughly 400 ounce inch servo, stock shocks, stock drive shafts. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I really do like this truck. I think for the price, it's it's really hard to beat. High clearance lengths. Trailing arm suspension isn't everyone's go-to, but I actually really like the way it handles. Um, sway bar is a must, but that's included in the kit. For a long time, these were on sale. I don't know if they still are, but you could have them for uh, south of 250 bucks. So you throw some cheap electronics in there and go with a brush setup, and you could be up and running for... Um, 350 or 400 with a battery and cheap charger but it's hooked up to a fly sky gt3b um, not very fond of the radio but i like that it's on a separate radio so if somebody goes out with me i have a backup truck that they can drive while i'm driving it's been pretty well documented but it is worth mentioning that one of my least favorite parts of this truck is it is a hinged forward mount but there's no stop and it just wants to keep going and it won't sit flat on the ground before it does really start to strain this bumper. So that's a flaw. If they ever do a V2 of this or an update, I would love to see them build some sort of stops in or even a hook system to where you can hold that body in place because it is heavy, uh, especially with these aluminum panels on it, but all that molded plastic is heavy regardless. Thanks again for watching, and I uh, hope you guys like my Element Gatekeeper.
All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for checking out Crazy for KBs RC. Once again, my name is Tim. Check out my Instagram, that's crazy number four, KVs underscore RC. Link down below. Put a couple of links of some of my favorite places to shop. No affiliates, no sponsors, just places I enjoy and where I get most of my RC products from. Um, thanks again for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, please, before you go, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.